I know I may be attacked, but I know I will. But this is something to look upon, because everything has some fringes in it. And this is from my learning and my experience that I see in my own self, as well as I observe from others. Now, first, now, the Conscious Thug Consortium, or the Conscious Thugs, mostly consists of younger members who have managed to intertwine two seamlessly unrelated words, Conscious and Thugs, into an actual national movement scholarly political work or work itself, but instead embrace the philosophy of the street knowledge, believing that no one understands apply to black masses but the thug. These individuals extol the virtues of the street team's lifestyle, but lace it with black pro-black ideologies. Thus, in one sentence, they may quote Donald Goins, and in the next, Malcolm X. Conscious thugs can be found on numerous street corners, where they tend to blend in with the more common thug variety, but kick knowledge every now and again. They have proliferated in the modern hip-hop. That pros. Unlike regular thugs, they can truly see that there is a struggle to be fought. In the current thug renaissance, sweeping the black community, they are quite relatable, especially to the street crowd. Cons. Being a pro-black doesn't always equal being positive. Having a hyper-patriotic ideas of masculinity, they are proud in their sexism. Their overinflated ideas of manhood can't really allow them to accept black women as equals, but rather in the categories of saints, gold diggers, or freaks. Not above reverting to a common practical thug over the slightest beef or insult. Their ideologies, huh? Those versus consciousness make them seem contradictory and garbles their messages often into incoherence. Refuses to leave their limbo state, but instead reveals in the freedom it creates. The totality of their struggle seems to consist of greater access every black man to more crystal, bigger Jesus pieces, platter vests, even fatter prime choice booty, preferably in a thong, and the really good, good weed. Suggestion. There's a ready-made place for thugs. It's called the jail. Society does indeed help make thugs who in turn contribute to their own oppression by playing the and filling the jail. It's a nice, but really a bad little cycle. But the real thugs who build and profit from the jails make a profit. If you know about this pimpological system, break it. Trim the thug fat from your waistline. It is unneeded and it's unhealthy. That itself would be revolutionary.